Hello everyone, I'm Muhammad Suleiman, aircraft engineering instructor, and welcome to my new video about hydraulic power ATA29 of Boeing 777. Today we will discuss the following various topics. As you can see, uh, a brief summary of the system, features of the systems, and then we will discuss a quiz com comprising of 30 questions with answers. The topics would be the main hydraulic systems, the ram air turbine system, hydraulic indicating system, and ground servicing system. You can see a schematic diagram of the system. So here you can see there are three independent systems in Boeing 7 hydraulic power. Left system, center system, and right system. The left system, there is color coded red. Center one is blue, and the right one is green. Now, the left system is primarily powered by an EDP. Engine driven pump. Similarly, the right system is powered by another EDP. Both systems have ACMP demand pumps. The central hydraulic system, on the other hand, has two primary pumps and two demand pumps, ADP, air driven pumps. It also has an emergency source of hydraulic pressure, which is the ram air turbine. The hydraulic systems supply power to the flight control, thrust reversers, brakes, landing gear actuation, and steering systems. This system can be serviced at a single location and their pressure, temperature and quantity are monitored using various sensors. This is the cockpit P5 hydraulic red panel and this is the engine fire switch panel. This is the hydraulic synoptic status page, IKS display and maintenance page. The salient features of the hydraulic system are triple redundancy, in which three independent hydraulic systems and each system has two or more pumps. Each system can operate flight controls independently. Second feature is the pump operation on demand. Here, one or two pumps operate continuously. Other pumps operate only when there is a hydraulic demand. It increases the pump life and system efficiency and reliability. Third one is automatic system controls. The flight crew sets pump switches before engine start. Demand pumps operate automatically. Uses hydraulic interface module, electronic cards for control, fault detection and indications. Here you can see ram air turbine. It's an emergency source of hydraulic power for primary flight controls used if all usual pressure sources become unavailable during flight. Another feature is the tube separation. The location of hydraulic system tubes decreases risk of multiple system losses from single failure source. Left and right system tubes are on opposite sides of the body. Maximum separation of tubes or pipes in wheel wells and wings. Here you can see another feature that is central hydraulic isolation system, CHIS. Supplies this system supplies reserve brake and steering function if there is a loss of central hydraulic system fluid. Another feature is hydraulic fuses. 
protects against fluid loss in main gear steering, brakes, actuation, and flight controls. Similarly, components grouping is here in Boeing Triple Seven Rating System. Uh, the hydraulic reservoir is near pumps. They supply pump filter module close to each each pump. Return filter modules close to each reservoir. So uh, another is commonality of components. All electrical pumps interchangeable. All driven and engine driven pumps are interchangeable. Pressure and cane strain filter modules the same for engine driven, air driven, and all electrical pumps. And another feature is single point reservoir servicing. The hydraulic reservoir servicing stations are in the right aft body fairing. All three reservoirs can be filled from one location. Let's come to the quiz. Question number one. Which hydraulic system is color coded as green? The answer is A, right system. Question number two. What happens when you select a demand pump to operate in auto mode? The answer is C. The high dim cards control the operation. Question number three. Which pumps operate continuously in each hydraulic system? The answer is C. The primary pumps. Question number four. What provides an emergency source of power to the flight controls? The answer is C. Ramir turbine. Question five. Where are the heat exchangers located? The answer is A. In the left and right main fuel tanks. Question 5. Where are the hydraulic accumulators located? Answer B. In the stabilizer compartment. Question 6. What is the purpose of the center hydraulic isolation system chest? The answer is A. Supplies hydraulic power for reserve brake and steering operation. Question number 7. What is the output pressure of the engine driven pump? The answer is B. It is nearly 3000 psi. Question number eight. What happens when the depressurization solenoid wall is energized? The answer is B. The pump output flow is blocked. Question number nine. What is the purpose of the ADU heater? And the answer is B. To prevent ice formation. Question number 10. How are the ACMP motor and pump cooled on the Boeing 777? The answer is A. By case drain oil. Question number 11. What panel controls the hydraulic system pumps and the rate manual deployment? The answer is A, P5 overhead panel. Question number 12. What is the function of the CHIS system? The answer is A, it provides emergency functions in case of hydraulic failure. Question number 12. How is the modulating shutoff valve of the ADP operated? The answer is C, by a solenoid operated butterfly wall. Question 13. What is the function of the flight control shutoff valves in the Boeing 777 hydraulic power system? The answer is V. To isolate the flight controls. Question 14. What is the location of the pressure and case drain filter module for the left and right systems in the Boeing 777 hydraulic power system? The answer is A. Right hand man landing gear wheel well. Question 15. When does the HIDEM card command the Reserve mode operation? The answer is B, when only one ADP can operate. Question 16. When does the HIDEM cards control the pump operational signal to the ELMS? ELMS? The answer is B, when the selector switch is in auto. Question number 17. What is the per pressure range for the filter differential pressure pop out in the return filter module? The answer is B, 48 to 62 PSI. Question number 18. When does the rate system supply an emergency source of hydraulic power? The answer is B, when there is a loss of hydraulic pressure in the three hydraulic systems. Question 19. What extends the rate system? The answer is C, the ELMS. Question 20. What is the function of the nose gear isolation valve? Answer is B, 
It controls SEMP C1 output to nose gear steering. Question 21. What happens when the rate extends automatically in flight with the loss of hydraulic pressure in the three hydraulic systems? Answer C. It operates the flight controls. Question 22. What are the names of the Hydem cards? The answer is A. Hydem left, Hydem right, Hydem center left, Hydem center right. Question 23. When does the pressure light turns on? The answer is A. When the rate supplies hydraulic pressure. Question 24. What is the total volume of the left and right system reservoirs? The answer is C. 12.6 gallons are 48.47.8 liters. Question 25. How are the reservoirs pressurized? The answer is A. By the bleed air system. Question 26. What happens to the ACMP temperature display if there is an overheat condition? The answer is A. It shows a blank. Question 27. At what temperature does an advisory message appear for pump temperature? The answer is B. 105 centigrade. Question 28. Where are reservoir quantities displayed? The answer is C. On the status display, hydraulic synaptic display, and the hydraulic maintenance page. Question 29. What does an OF indication next to the reservoir quantity indication mean? The answer is A. Overfill. Question 30. What is the maximum pressure to use when filling the reservoir? The answer is B. 150 PSI. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel. I shall make more such informative quizzes and notes videos on aircraft systems, air legislation and safe maintenance practices. Follow me on LinkedIn to download printable easy notes that I have made. Thank you so much. Allah